You know, the last time I did a video with my face, someone said I looked like I watched Husband Hotel. And to that person in specific, fuck you. I do not. Well, I look like I watch Husband Hotel, but I don't watch it. Anywho, hello everyone, welcome back. If you don't know, I am Ren, and this is my series Low IQ Ranting, where I find a topic to yap about, and I yap about it. I am going to be doing, like, this for filler for this week and next week, solely because I do have to, like, study for an exam and whatnot. So, you know, we don't talk about it. I just kind of realized after filming that I never asked a question this week, so this week's question is if you had a random hobby or talent that you could just magically be good at, what would it be? My answer to this question would probably be like playing an instrument like the guitar. I just think it would be kind of cool to play the guitar randomly out of nowhere and look sick as fuck. So yeah, that's my answer to this question. Uh, leave your answer in the comments below. Before I go on to the actual video, I also wanted to shout out my Discord server because I do have a Discord server. The link is in the description if you'd like to join. It is kind of dead, but maybe eventually it'll pick up. Uh, and if you want to support me, you can become a channel member or subscribe to my Patreon. It's not necessary, but it is very nice. Anyways, what's going on with Lunchly? <laughs> Like, bro, I'm having the time of my life watching these three grown, like, millionaire adult men lose their minds over Minecraft YouTubers disagreeing with them. Like, I'm sobbing over this. Like, where's the PR team that's, like, letting this all happen? KSI is arguing with his demons on Twitter because fucking Dan TDM made a post implying they were sellouts. And then Tommy in it gets involved, makes a pretty okay heartfelt video about, like, YouTube and where it's headed. And then they get mad at him as well. I don't know. I think the video came after some beef. I'm really unsure. I'm just a girl. But, like, these are, like, 30-year-old millionaires. I'm just saying, like, these are like 30-year-old millionaires getting mad at Minecraft YouTubers because they hold a differing opinion to their, like, Lunchables ripoff, or I guess to, like, KSI's song. To be fair, I feel like Thick of It is pretty rough. I mean, I feel like the song in general is kind of mid, but, like, the lyrics are fine. It's just, the song itself is kind of ass. And yeah, it's pretty wild seeing YouTubers make, like, Lunchable ripoffs. Like with like with their own products. It's fucking weird <laughs> and kind of scummy. You're promoting Prime to kids. Like of all things Prime. I'm pretty sure there was a lawsuit relating to Prime. So I don't know about that. I'm I'm just here. I'm just witnessing this. I am laughing about this like pretty hard in my own time because it's like, what are we doing? <laughs> Why are these big ass youtubers getting so angry that their lunchables ripoff is getting traction and like hate i don't know man like do they have nothing better to do i think they just need to like get their priorities straight you know straighten it out a little bit there's people suffering because of you know hurricane helene don't want to like give them hurricane relief and you guys are sitting on your millions of dollars crying because people have opinions about your lunchables ripoff there's actual problems. <laughs> and you're, you're also arguing with Minecraft YouTubers as well. I think that that's the funniest part about all of this. Sitting there crying about their Lunchables ripoff and then getting mad at Minecraft YouTubers. <laughs> we should normalize that. Normalize like getting angry that your product's dog shit and then getting mad at like fucking Stampy Cat or some shit. Also like Mr. Beast was like raised in North Carolina. You'd think that there would be like larger efforts to help with like the hurricane relief from Helene. It's just kind of mind boggling to me that these millionaires have nothing better to do than to like argue on Twitter. And this isn't just like Mr. Beast, KSI, Logan Paul, whatever. It's like even Donald Trump himself just kind of argues with people on Twitter and that kind of, do we not have better things to do? Elon Musk, Elon Musk is the king of arguing on Twitter when there's like, isn't there a bigger fish to fry in your life? As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just Maga, I'm Dark Magra. You have kids, right? You know, and then KSI is sitting there crying because no one likes his shitty music. Like, literally, I'm gonna quit music, guys. I'm gonna quit. Make better music, bro. <laughs> like, just, just get a grip. Look at what's going on outside. Like, I remember when Mr. Beast used to, like, actually just, like, help people. I mean, it was still, like, monetized and publicized massively, so I don't know if it's, like, a really good thing that he did that, but now it's like, what happened? <laughs> 
However, it still came off as like it still could come off as like a humble person just trying to like help people when he can. Have we lost that though? Like I feel especially now more than ever. It's like everyone needs that help. There are people in locations that just need that help and we're like Well you can get the help as long as you do my silly little YouTube challenge. Idiot. YouTube as a platform in general though has become so corporate. It's like it's like you have honest people just trying to make content and like, you know, maybe make a living off of it. Then you have like the corporate machines like Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast, and it's so fucking weird. Like I know Gen Z in general doesn't like fuck with corporations, so it's wild to see what like YouTube content has turned into, especially since Gen Z is like a major consumer of this content. I feel like Lynchley is just putting an emphasis on how corporate everything has become so now we're like fuck no and dislike that and they're also just trying to compete with something that doesn't really necessarily need to be competed with there's no point to be competitive for fucking lunchables bro it's like it's so weird seeing youtubers create something that realistically could rival you know what was once something we regularly brought to school as like a snack or for lunch i always just brought them for a snack and ate when i got home but you do you you know and while it's undeniable that a lot of this hate did like and while it's undeniable that a lot of this hate did just manifest from like the Ava Chris Tyson thing and like how that was just kind of like trying to be swept under the rug, it, I think it's also the fact that Mr. Beast was like bound to like implode. Like his content just feels fake now and it's just not enjoyable. I feel like the only people who really are watching it are little ass kids. <laughs> I was an early watcher of Mr. Beast so it like really early so it was kind of weird to like see this trans like transformation to see this guy like go from making the series called worst intros to being one of the biggest youtubers is kind of like crazy i did watch him for a bit after he changed his content but the thing is is that like it it became fake and very obvious that it was like pandering towards kids and I was growing up so I kind of just stopped watching at one point. I don't know if anyone like remembers worst intros though but that was like a staple part of my childhood especially someone who like made intros for like Animal Jam. It was so weird to me to like see, <laughs> to see that because when people say Mr. Beast I'm sitting there I'm like oh yeah the worst intros guys and they're like no the biggest YouTuber on the platform. <laughs> like he would just find bad YouTube intros and then poke fun at them. Like those little weird 3D spinny intros. Is it go? <laughs> that like everyone was obsessed with. I was obsessed with them. But that was like the content that like I knew Mr. Beast for and it's just kind of weird to see him like, you know, have stuff being sold in stores like with his labels on them. Like Feastables was insane. I didn't even know that was a thing until I went into Walmart one day and saw them. I don't think any of the food products he's put out like have been particularly good. I haven't tried a lot of them. Like I haven't tried a lot of them, but they just kind of like sold because it was Mr. Beast's name attached to them, I guess. And I feel Lunchly will suffer a similar fate, except it'll probably be a shorter period of time before Lunchly dies out solely because of how much hate it's garnering right now. No one's gonna want to really try it. I've only seen like three Lunchly reviews. Most of the reviews I've seen have been pretty negative besides the nacho one. People really seem to fuck with the nachos Lunchly and the fact that it's just lackluster at best and especially like I don't know why they tried to compete with like Lunchables of all things. Lunchables themselves is kind of lackluster but you know it's like again I ate it as like a snack like during school as a kid so I mean I guess it's I still bought it and it's like it added nothing more to the product as well and it's more expensive actually because unlike Lunchables there is no way to get a Lunchly without the prime or dessert just to get like more like crackers and like cheese or just like the nacho plate itself you can't get a Lunchly without the prime or the Feastables from what I've seen I don't think there's a way you can get it without like the prime or the Feastables so it's like you lack a cheaper option as well because with Lunchables there's like this dollar option that you can get it's literally like a dollar fifty I think and it's just like this it's the same serving except it comes without um like the Capri Sun or the Oreo or something like that and it's generally just cheaper to get that because that's what I always got as a kid because I'd bring my own like water bottle cheaper option from Lunchly to get it like a snack or something I don't know I just think that's kind of weird I think at the end of the day people don't like Lunchly or whatever is happening with it because it's just very corporate it feels like a sellout no youtuber in my opinion should be making things that are like 
food or edible because YouTuber products in the past have been very, um, not good. It just feels so weird and so, like, cash grabby and it's very inauthentic. It's, like, corporate. Like, odd, I guess, especially for, like, us who have grown up with these YouTubers. Just seeing their faces everywhere and, like, seeing that they're selling, like, products in mass, it's so weird. The fact that they're also getting mad at people for having valid criticisms and pushback on this because at the end of the day, it is just marketing towards kids, saying it's better when in reality it's not and it's more expensive than Lunchables because again, to my knowledge, there's no way to get a Lunchly without the Feastables bar or the Prime for like a cheaper option. And it's, it's weird to like just target that toward kids. Uh, it's very weird because you're just gonna have like these kids begging their parents to get something that's just it's not any better it's the same thing i don't like how corporate youtube has become but with how big it is i guess it was inevitable it sucks because actual content made by people who are passionate gets pushed back so that these big ass corporations can make even more money when it's not really necessary it's not what it used to be it used to be people like creating with a passion but now it's just kind of soulless and what can you do besides like call it out and say that you don't like this type of content anyways rant over I'm Ren I'm tired and thank you for watching